On the early morning hours, residents of Sun River had water gushing into their homes, leaving them with nothing left to do but leave. MTN's Elizabeth Transu was in Sun River and spoke with those asking for help. It is worth it to be here. It's beautiful out here. And like I said, everybody helps everybody. Seriously, you guys. And just like in years past, help was on its way. It started coming up our street. You could literally watch it inch by inch crawl just up the street. Take over the town. Within the last 24 hours, the water rose, forcing residents to call for search and rescue. It's time to get out. There's no way that we could use any of the facilities in the house. And um, I don't know, it started to get a little scary. It did. Why? Because I've never been in a flood like that before. We'd already had go bags packed and everything pretty much ready just in case, but we were really not thinking it was going to happen. <laughs> but the main priority. Kind of sad because I don't want anything to be destroyed, but it's only material things that can be replaced. Yeah, that's all that counts. I mean, we got the kids and the animals out. This is the worst I've ever seen, and I hope I never see it again. In Sun River, Elizabeth Transu, MTN News. Now, the Sun River is currently at its crest now, and this isn't the first time residents have dealt with conditions like these. In 2011, the Sun River experienced significant flooding. Check out these file photos here from 2011. Many residents today recalled those flood conditions, some saying this week has been worse. Here's video from today. Sun River completely underwater. Over 20 years, Sun River residents uh, tell us that these are the worst conditions they've ever seen. This is the worst I've ever seen, yeah. You know, there may have been something before us, but it did flood in 2011, but it wasn't this high. And I have a friend that lives up at Augusta, and he always calls me because it hits there first, but he did tell me it was going to be worse than 2011, but I didn't anticipate it to be quite this high. Meanwhile, residents in Vaughn also preparing for the worst at the Vaughn Fire Rescue. Residents can go fill as many sandbags as needed for free. CERT was on hand to help fill, tie, and load sandbags for those who needed them. The station will be open all day for anyone who wants to stop by and help fill or if you need them for your house.